Hi, everybody. Welcome to a very special edition of Podium Picks. Sean Woodland and Tommy Marquez inside the Whoop Studios. We have a very, I mean, this is our guest today. We are walking into this guy's wheelhouse today. Like we have in the past. Like we tend to get guests on and then we go right at their strength to see how we're going to fare. And I don't know how we're going to do today, Tommy. You know, uh, I, we're kind of like the... The Fellowship of the Ring going right into Mount Doom right now. Yes. We're going into the Eye of Sauron. Mm-hmm. We're going to try and drop that ring in, in the into the pit here. How how are you? Lo- how are the whoop numbers looking today? I'm actually I'm actually you know I'm I'm doing the open workout tomorrow, mm-hmm. but I probably should do it today because I got ninety six percent recovery. Ninety six. Yeah, I'm I'm in the, and then I'm ninety two sleep performance too. So I'm okay. Well, I'm going to bring up flexing the, right now. I'm going to finish this <laughs> distant second with my. 58% recovery. Mm. Um, but feeling good. I haven't had a day in the red in a week. That's so awesome. that's good for me. I got four hours and 51 minutes of sleep. So I am well rested, ready to rock here. Uh, but as we mentioned, before we introduce our guests, we are in the whoop studios. A whoop is the performance tool that is changing the way people track their fitness and performance. It all starts with the whoop strap 3.0. You go to whoop.com. You get yourself the wrist worn heart rate monitor that measures your heart rate 100 times per second nonstop, round the clock, 24-7. It takes all that information, sends it to an app on your phone, and you get daily personalized insights and analytics on the big three, strain, recovery, and sleep. The Whoop will also track all of your workouts. And what's cool now, since the official wearable of CrossFit, when you go in to log your activities, uh, in the past, you just had to put functional fitness. Now you can actually put CrossFit training. So that's pretty cool that they have that in there. I love it. It is waterproof, has a five-day battery life, and Whoop has the offer for our listeners and friends of the show go to whoop.com that's w-h-o-o-p.com and use the code talking 15 that's talking one five to save 15 percent and optimize the way that you train once again whoop.com w-h-o-o-p.com use the code talking 15 and you will save 15 percent and you get yourself on the whoop train and then you can join our whoop group which you go into your settings you click join a team and you enter the code talk dash fit talk with a capital t fit with two t's and a capital f and then later in the show we're going to do our whoop podium we're going to do day strain for the month of march the open yeah. month okay well let's get to this uh, today's edition of podium picks a great friend of ours a great friend of yours out there in the community we're going to be doing ice cream flavors and there's only one man we can bring in to do that and that <laughs> is pat sherwood pat how you doing man i am doing potentially better than I've ever done in my life. I'm so happy to be here. Oh, we are happy to have you. And, you know, I just feel like it would be, it would be criminal if we tried to do this draft and Pat wasn't part of it. Yeah. I agree. 100%. So I've been listening to you guys for a while. Finally, you're covering the big issues. (laughs) (laughs) This is the stuff that people want. They want three guys sitting around talking about ice cream flavors, right? (laughs) Potentially the most impactful piece of media ever presented to the globe. I would agree with that. (laughs) Um, Hello, Peabody. Oh, man. (laughs) Um, All right. So here are the rules. We're going to do a five-round ice cream flavor draft. Basically, the only rule that we have established here, and I don't know, this is the, this is usually the part where we discuss any sort of rules before we begin the draft. The only rule that we have established is that if you go brand specific, so like I said, when Pat chooses Halo Top, because mm-hmm. I know he's a big fan. <laughs> How dare you? He can, only, he can only pick one flavor of that. Once you pick that brand, you can't go back to it. Yeah. I feel like that's fair. Yeah. Okay. Uh, <laughs> I, I, I might I might deviate from that because I, I wasn't sure what that was going to be until we showed up today. It, yeah. it just depends upon what you guys pick. So my apologies. I'm going to do my darndest. Well, okay. you, know, you know, just like, uh, you know, what is that? Whose line is it anyways? It's the show where the rules are entirely made up and points don't matter. That's so. right. <laughs> Fair well enough. Said. Yep. Well said. Okay. So, Pat, the way we you do this is that since you are our guest, we will let you decide where you want to draft you first second or third this is a snake draft so if you do choose the first pick understand that it will go second third and then we'll start in reverse order then third second so there's four picks that come off the board before you get to pick again if you want to pick first so just keep that in mind so where would you like to draft pat First of all, I don't understand anything you said. Second of all, <laughs> I, am going, I am going to take the first one because I'm utterly terrified mm-hmm. that, that the pick's going to go away. Terrified. Okay. So, all right. so you're going to pick first. Now, I'll try to explain this again. It goes one, two, three, three, two, one. 
<laughs> one, two, three. So you'll have back-to-back -back picks. You just got to wait for to get there. Okay. No worries. No worries. Okay. So mm -hmm. then Tommy and I will now flip to decide who gets to pick amongst the remaining two picks. Uh, white of coin, side of the coin will be heads. The other side will be tails. Tommy will call it in the air. Ready? Yep. Heads. It is heads. Ooh. Tommy gets to pick. I'm going to take the third spot. Ooh, I, this is, I get, all right. Tommy gets the third spot. I'm going second. So let's get this thing kicked off. Pat Sherwood, you are on the clock for your first overall pick in our ice cream flavors draft. Okay. Here we go. Yes. Yep. We've begun. All right. My number one pick is vanilla. Yeah. <laughs> 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 first of all it has to be it is uh, yeah. the most popular flavor in america for a good reason it's simple it's delicious it goes with everything it is the standard mind you and here's the deal if you can't make a solid and delicious vanilla ice cream you're not worth your salt <laughs> and you're most likely just hiding that fact by putting a bunch of mix-ins into it. And that is unacceptable. It's kind of like you go to a good pizza place. Yeah, you can get a bunch of toppings, but if they can't make a plain cheese, you're not at a good pizza place. I'm sorry, you're a programmer. You can't make a good 21-15-9 couplet. You're just dancing, okay? So, <laughs> that's what I'm going with. Oh, <laughs> vanilla off the board. That's I mean, that, that is the right pick. It uh, really is. I, you know what? I, I was... I was a little reticent at first when he made that, but he made as good of a case for vanilla. Yeah, it tying it into the twenty one fifteen nine. Oh man, you would uh, expect that from yeah. a man of Pat Sherwood's <laughs> Pat caliber. Sherwood. So Pat goes vanilla with the first overall pick, which is yep. exactly where I would have gone. Mm -hmm. So now I got to step up with number two, and I think that there is a clear number two. Oh gosh. Um, so I got to go with chocolate mm -hmm. because I feel like as vanilla is the goes with everything chocolate is the one step deck like, chocolate is the clear second pick here like if trevor lawrence is going number one this is probably josh fields all right okay solid number two pick might not have all the versatility of the the number one pick but you can't go wrong with a good one scoop of chocolate ice cream and like pat uh, so eloquently said with vanilla if you can't make just good chocolate ice mm -hmm. cream what are you doing yeah if you're an ice cream parlor and your chocolate is not good I'm not, I'm not going to jump up and, you know, and try your, your pralines and whatever else you got in there. Yeah. I'm going, <laughs> I'm going chocolate. I'm, I'm curious that. So I think where chocolate falls in line is some people, and I don't understand this, just don't like chocolate. Like I, I it's like too I don't bold understand of a those people. And neither do I. If I'm you not a big chocolate ice cream guy. Interesting. <sighs> yeah. See that's I, exactly I mean, that's 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 where it like can be a little bit more polarized. I get than it. vanilla because I know? feel like everybody probably. I've never said I don't like vanilla ice cream. I know some people would prefer chocolate, but yeah. they don't dislike vanilla. You know, what I think it is. I think because vanilla is the go-to uh, uh, collaboration dessert when you have like Alamode. Yes, I mean, it goes, yeah, you you, you throw can, vanilla on top. Wait, I just picked. Let's not keep extolling I'm, the virtues of curious. Pat's pick here. Yeah. You know. <laughs> I like to see, see how that kind of works itself. Yeah, Sean, that's great. But Pat's pick is still. I, I will say, I will say, Sean, though, you don't hear, you don't hear any desserts called vanilla lover's dream or the vanilla bomb or anything like that. It's always chocolate. Yeah, bomb, but chocolate you know? usually does come in a fountain. It does. You know, you need yeah, chocolate lovers. Advertising for vanilla. No, you don't. <laughs> All right, so vanilla and vanilla and chocolate are now off the board. Wrong board. start. Now we uh, get, oh yeah, that's, I mean, those are the clear one and twos. Now we got, uh, now it opens up a bit though, I feel. And Tommy's on the clock now with his first of two picks. So back-to-back -back picks for Tommy. Okay. So this is, this is interesting because I feel like, and so we're allowed to pick flavors with stuff in it, right? Oh yeah. Yeah. For sure. Sure. yeah, yeah. All right. All right. Hmm. I'm totally winging this by the way. Uh, and, uh, <laughs> no, it's okay. I hope we are. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm going to take this because I know I have the wraparound pick. All right. And I will, I think this is a 20th, a late 20th, definitely, definitely 21st century flavor. Mm. Cause I don't think it really was on the radar until one particular ice cream shop started including it in one of their mixtures. Mm -hmm. um, it is one that our friend 
and constituent Heber Cannon always frequented, okay. um, Cold Stone Creamery. Mm -hmm. uh, but the base ice cream that I think is one of my favorite is birthday cake. Ooh. Oh, okay. My, my kids would be right in agreement with you on that. Mm -hmm. I <laughs> love birthday. It is to me, it's the, it's like, a, it's like the twist on vanilla mm -hmm. that, that, you know, vanilla is like being great in the fi silent film era. We get it. You mm -hmm. didn't have to talk. You just let it speak for itself. Now we got production. We got some value. Yeah. Let's add a little pizzazz to it. And so it looks fun. I'll tell you that it looks fun. And and the birthday cake remix, which is the the one I was re referencing to, in my opinion, the best thing that they do at Cold Stones. But yeah, we're okay. going with birthday cake. Birthday we'll cake later. Uh, yeah, I feel like I feel like birthday cake. The fat flavor is the vanilla flavor of cakes. Mm -hmm. Everyone loves the birthday cake. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Not like a not like a yellow sponge cake or a uh, <laughs> chocolate cake. Well, well, you think birthday about, cake. It's it, you think about like funfetti. Yeah, so, it's, right. it's the same exactly. flavor. It's the same thing. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Which, so which will be Tiffany's uh, wedding cake, oh, by the way. I'm there. Oh, just for that. yeah. Well done. Well yes. done. All right. So you have now that concludes the first round. So Tommy, mm -hmm. you will now kick off the second round with your first pick in the second. So this is going to get interesting for me because. Okay. I'm going to start adding things. Okay. Start mixing a few things in. Mm -hmm. um, there is, you think about like, you know, vanilla obviously is a classic, but what are some of like the candies, the chocolate candies, the, the, the things that you would get at a, gro at a mm -hmm. gas station mm -hmm. that really, okay. you know, elevate something. And I think it would be impossible to think about the greatest candies of all time without including the peanut butter cup. It's chocolate, peanut butter, simple together, which is why I'm not going to go what you think. I'm going to zig when everyone zags, and I'm going oh. moose, moose tracks. Moose tracks. Okay. That, the, okay. The favorite ice cream of my wife, by the way. Apparently, the Sherwood family household is just <laughs> is, is who I'm, I'm, I'm trying to bank my vote on. <laughs> you've, done very, you've done very well with that so far. So, yeah. So you go, you close out the first round with birthday cake, mm -hmm. and then... The second round, you is open up with moose, moose tracks. tracks. What exactly is in moose tracks? Moose, I'm not very familiar with this. One. Moose tracks, my friend, is vanilla ice cream with miniature peanut butter cups and fudge ribbon all mm, woven good. throughout it. That's solid. Good. That's solid. I'm not going to hate on that. Okay. Well, so now it's to me. And I mean, my pit, my card was already heading up to the podium once you said <laughs> moose tracks. Yeah. Um, I got to I gotta make sure that I don't, you know, don't let my, my allocated time expire. Then Pat can jump in there. Um, I'm going to go with cookies and cream, Ooh. Ah, big cookies and cream it. fan. I mean, that's, that's another one where I feel like it doesn't matter what establishment you walk into, you're going to be satisfied with cookies and cream unless they totally screw it up. 100%. Um, you know, and, and I, I, I pr prefer mine with, the, I don't like huge granular chunks. I mean, like of stuff in my ice cream. So I, yeah. I prefer it to be a little finer with the cookies and cream. Okay. Um, don't like to be overwhelmed by the addition to the ice cream. Mm -hmm. So yeah, cookies and cream, I, man. I was going to ask that Pat, like, cause I think the cookies and cream can vary based on the location where they, how much they grind the Oreos, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. you can get a couple of, cause I think it's like a, a little treat when you get the, like, uh, you get like one, a big chunk, you get a piece of the Oreo, but it's not right. just the cookie outside. It's got a lot oh, of the yeah, cream yeah, yeah. on it. So oh, yeah. it, it like, it doesn't freeze as hard. I want that to be the exception, not the rule. So okay. you value that experience. Yes. You know? Okay. So, yeah. Uh, but so I'm going to go second pick. I'm going cookies and cream. There you go. All right. So now yeah. if I understand how this thing works, it's back to me, right? You, and you get back to back picks. So you're going to close out the second and start the third round. Oh, really? Yes. Okay. All right. So, you know, as you may or may not know, I don't just enjoy ice cream, but you know, I also, you know, I make it as well. You know, mm -hmm. it's one of my, uh, that's points. One of my passions, if you will. So anyway, my next pick is somewhat similar to what you just said, Sean, but it's not cookies and cream. That was mm -hmm. you know, the draft would not be complete unless somebody said cookies and cream. It has to be on the list, mm -hmm. but I'm going with Oreo mint. Oh, now, okay. Now I'll, I'll discuss what this is. When I say right. Oreo mint, I'm talking a sweet cream base. Ooh. And then I personally like the Oreos 
chopped up rather coarsely. I don't like them super fine. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and, <laughs> so and, like broken in half one time and jumped well, in. Well, you know, it. what I'll do, I'll, I'll put Oreos. So first of all, I'll freeze them. I'll put them on a, like a, 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 um, a chopping board with like a, a chef's knife mm -hmm. and I'll chop them up just as coarsely as I can with a knife. I'll put them into the freezer so that they're, they freeze. And then after I make the sweet cream base, I dump them in so they don't warm up the sweet cream base. Mm, that's a veteran move. Ruin the mixture. And also, I like my Oreo mint with some like a, a peppermint extract flavor, not a vanilla extract. Very particular about that. Ooh. And I also like it to be a, a little bit of green food coloring. So it has that mint look to it. I don't want an Oreo, a mint Oreo that's white in appearance, unacceptable as far as I'm concerned. <laughs> so a little, bit of a, a little bit of a green hue, mm -hmm. the peppermint extract, not the vanilla, and some coarsely chopped Oreos. I like the texture. I like the crunch. I think it's a home run. Oh, man. That's a good one. We just got a master class in Pat's Pints. I'm, yeah, this is another one of those drafts where I'm like, we are going to get our... Was, I want to say, oh, did you, was that one of the flavors that you would bring in from time to time? <sighs> I feel like you started with the 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 main like mm. the, the main flavor, and then I want to say at one point you brought in an Oreo mint. I, I may have. It's definitely one of the. I mean, it is. I tell you what, this thing would be over if we had some right now that you could sample. I mean, it would be you know, <laughs> from your own pick. So, but but it's it's a home run. Um, oh, so now I get the next pick. pick you get as this, well. Yeah. So the, and yeah. then what we'll do is we'll finish the third round. We'll do the Whoop podium, then we will start the fourth round. So you yeah. get. Yeah, this is your this is your pick now to start the third round. This is one that I took a liberty with. Okay, all right, all right. But I felt so strongly about it that I'm willing to go down with the ship. Okay, all right. okay, okay. This is a selection off of the establishment Mary Ann's Ice Cream, located Ooh. in Santa Cruz, California, where. Okay. Also an Aptos, and uh, with all the ice cream I've eaten all over the world, that has to be one of my favorite ice cream shops on the planet. I think their quality is through the roof. I used to live within walking distance of the one in Aptos, and that was troublesome. <laughs> <laughs> so this, this one that I'm going with, my third pick is Snickerdoodle Cookie Dough. Oh. <laughs> and so... <laughs> oh, so, this is... What it's, a draft. It's snickerdoodle, which is, you know, for those at home, it's okay if you don't know the difference. It's not just a sugar cookie with cinnamon on it. Okay, let's not be offensive. <laughs> <laughs> the snickerdoodle, it's similar to a sugar cookie, but we, you know, but the classic recipe for snickerdoodle has a little bit of cream of tartar in it, which kind of gives that cookie that little unmistakable, slightly tangy flavor. Mm. And then you take that, it's rolled in cinnamon and sugar before they're baked. And then you hack those up and put it into an ice cream that has almost a little bit of a, a light cinnamon, subtle kind of a hue to it. It is out of this world. I, get, this is good, like getting dunked on right so now I, by I, Michael Jordan. This I, is exactly I was, I was, I've got some, I've got some Marianne's flavors on my list. Oh, do you? And I'm, I'm, I will go to the grave that because there's some debate in the Santa Cruz area of like who has the best ice cream. Mm -hmm. like there's other because there's up other artisan shops like Marianne's ice cream is the best ice cream in Santa Amen. Cruz, and it's one Amen. of the it's like I'll say with Pat, it's one of the best ice cream shops I've ever been to, mm -hmm. and I love that all of their flavors on like are on like wooden placards that are like velcroed to the board mm -hmm. each day. You walk in, you know they mean business. Yeah, yeah, love it. One hundred. I've been to Leatherby's in Sacramento. Mm -hmm. I'll put them up against anybody. Okay, so, oh, question about the Snickerdoodle cookie, Pat. Sure. I feel like for it, it to be a really good Snickerdoodle, it has to be a little soft. I don't like me yeah, a and, crunchy yeah, Snickerdoodle. Completely agree, for sure, right. for sure. I mean, it is. I mean, in the Snicker, the, you know, we have a cookie draft later on. That cookie by itself is a hero. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, amen. Yeah, hundred percent. Okay, my turn now as I pick. My this is my third pick. Um, so while Pat picked Oreo mint, mm -hmm. I am going to pick classic mint chip. Oh, okay, ice cream. I almost did. And I I like me a mint. This is another another thing. I don't like mint chip that doesn't have I like the flaky chips. I like a little crunch, you mm -hmm. know, just dispersed evenly throughout my ice cream. Mm -hmm. Uh little flakes. 
like Baskin Robbins makes a great mint chip. Like if you're just looking for, you know, any mint chip that you can find anywhere, they make fantastic mint chip ice cream. Mm -hmm. But uh, I feel like the only way I can describe it is to quote the great Martian Sawyers. It's like being slapped in the face by refreshment. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you just need, you, you need something cool and refreshing on a mm -hmm. hot summer day. And you know, maybe you're not in the mood for vanilla. You want to up that to, you know, a little bit, get yourself a little kick of flavor in there. Mint chip will do the job. Oh, love me the mint chip. Man. I would say it's also one of those foundational flavors that if an ice cream shop can't do a good mint chip, they should close their doors. I agree a hundred percent. Yeah. Mm. Mint chip Oof. now it's to you tommy marquez okay um so i'm gonna get really specific here oh wow okay yeah and i'm i'm gonna i'm gonna throw one down for all my midwestern folk all right oh all uh, right about five years ago i made my way to the great state of ohio and for my first venture into cincinnati for the all-star mm, game okay I was introduced to an ice cream company there called Graders. G R A E T E R S, mm. exactly how it sounds. Mm -hmm. uh, and I had a flavor there that after we had it the first time, I went back every single day of that trip and had a scoop wow. of it. Wow. Good for you. <laughs> it was it was also my friend Craig's my friend Craig's 30th birthday. We were living out of an RV. Ain't a story without Craig. Craig's gonna make it. <laughs> <laughs> and it's Grater's black raspberry chocolate chip. It is. It's like I I I don't know why. For me, the there's like this always this battle between good and evil of like too much fruit forward, too much like chocolatey forward, and finding that like sweet spot is really hard to do. And they put just enough of the black raspberry flavor into it and just enough of the chocolate chip in there to where it feels like you're eating like berries dipped in chocolate, you know, where it's like a nice blend and it's not too harsh one way or the other. Mm -hmm. And similar to what Marianne's does in Santa Cruz, the quality and richness of the ice cream base makes it just absolutely stand out. And they just started distributing to the West Coast. So you can now buy it in the freezer section at your local grocery Ooh. store. Grater's Black Raspberry Chocolate Chip. Also, shout out to the fact that they chose Black Raspberry because it is one of my favorite berries, period. One of my favorite flavors. However, it's a very finicky berry and it only is in season like three to four weeks a year out here okay. on the West Coast. So the fact okay. that they'd be willing to hang their hat on that shows some bravado. I got to admit, yeah. not a fan of berries and ice cream. Yeah. I'm one of the few, but I just know yeah, like putting pineapple on pizza to me, you know, don't healthy no. this thing up. It's just getting in the way, you know, I, I know it's a personal preference, you know, which a lot, a large part of this mm. draft is, but I also have to take a bit of umbrage with that. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. With that, with that pick, I just fruit, I, I can't do fruit in my ice cream. It's, 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 and you know what, maybe, maybe I am missing out because whenever i have tried it, it hasn't been something as, as quite as fancy as uh tommy mentioned there it, it was a little bit simpler and it wasn't i just wish that i had peanut butter cups in it instead of yeah. you know, strawberries <laughs> or something right you know right. And, uh, yes. you know it's a cheat night hey do you want some strawberries or a peanut butter cup uh but you know First of all, how dare you <laughs> but sometimes those crazy combinations do work out and what you just mentioned tommy is something that i would go to that shop for the rest of my life and never even contemplate picking that flavor, but it could be one of those things that if I got a scoop of a buddy's, I'd be like, I can't believe I've been missing out on that for years. Mm -hmm. and, and so to be clear, it's a black raspberry ice cream base. So it doesn't have actual fruit oh, in it. Yeah. I see. So it's, that's different. But it, but it's, it's almost like, it's almost like, it's almost like a sweet cream or vanilla base where like it went up and high five to black raspberry. It's not like mm, okay. it was made out of ground rat. So it's like just the nice, like hint of the berry to it, you know? Okay. Um, I respect you. I'm still suspicious, but yes. I respect yeah, you. Yeah. Hey, hey, you know, give it a try. Mm -hmm. Take a little walk. The kid, the kids might like it because it's purple. I think it has some purple in it, All right. but. Mm -hmm. you know. Okay. So yeah. before we do your, your second uh, pick to, kick off the fourth round we have to get to our whoop podium mm. and we are recording this on friday march 
26th, the day after the final open announcement. Woo-hoo. So people have been getting, at, getting after it this month, getting after the open workout. So we figured that we would do day strain for the month of March. So day strain for the month of March for our talking elite fitness whoop group, man. So we got some, we got some, we got some big day strain people. I have a, a guess as to who will I be the top two and number one, surprise, surprise, Liz Dalmas. She's the strain queen 20.7 with a 20.4 activity <sighs> one day this month. Woo-hoo. Number two, Daniel Rivera, 19.5 average for the month. Number three, Phil Susie, 19.4 at a 20.2 basketball game back Damn. on the seventh. Uh, Steffi Warnock's number four, 19.1 average. Brandon Rizek, I'm really sorry if I mispronounced that, 19.0. Matt O'Brien, number six, 18.1. Ben Parkin, 18.0. Braden Bone Steel, oh. <laughs> 18.0. Had a weightlifting name. session for 13.7. That was a phenomenal name. Brandon McFall, longtime patron and friend of the show, 18.0. And then Dennis Anderson, 18.0. His biggest uh, workout was a horseback riding wow. at 17.1 thir- uh, on 316. So uh, nice job to all the top 10 performers. Liz Domus, we got to have her on the show one day and figure so. out yeah. what her... What, what are you doing? Yeah, she is, she is killing it. Nice job, everybody. Yeah, great job to everybody out there. Congratulations to those of you who made the Whoop podium for Day Strain. Now we begin our fourth round. And Tommy, you will get us kicked off. Mm. Your, your second of back-to-back picks here. Ah, uh, okay. Hmm. Choose wisely. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Where you do work in the draft. You know, it is. Late I, rounds. I usually like, I got to, I got to, got to do some work in these later rounds. However, I have to, this one, this pick is for Tiff. I got, I got to go for Tiff. Okay. Um, you know, I feel like for ice cream, ice cream purists, Ben and Jerry's can be a little polarizing at times. They can do some things really well. You better not take. Right. And then sometimes <laughs> they take, they just do a flavors where it's just a madness. Mm-hmm. It's just mm-hmm. madness mm-hmm. in a pint. And it's, it's, it's analysis by paralysis, as Sean said mm-hmm. last week, where I'm just trying to figure out, <laughs> I'm trying to figure out what the hell's in my mouth. <laughs> Don't clip that. <laughs> Uh, but there is one that i think is is in my opinion unequivocally one of the best flavors that they do and it's labeled with someone else's name on it oh man you at and it's to me it's jimmy fallon's tonight dough i know what you were i know what you wanted yeah okay the tonight if i was to pick a chocolate base that would be my pick Mm -hmm. it's I have tried a bunch of different ones and I'm not going to discuss other picks I'll talk about later, but it is, um, it is the, the one where I'm like, this is done really, really well. And it's not overly complicated. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. So it's got chocolate chip cookie dough, peanut butter cookie dough, and some, a little bit of the cookie swirl in there with a chocolate base ice cream. Tiff is a cookie dough fiend. She, mm-hmm. she will, she will buy cookie dough by the pound at a, at a frozen yogurt place. She'll just awesome. put a dollop of yogurt on there to make sure it's legit. But yeah, so she would get mad at me if I didn't get, uh, at least one cookie dough ice cream. And even as a traditional vanilla guy, Tommy, I'll give that one two thumbs up. That's a take. That's a tasty treat right there. <laughs> wow. Got this, the Pat yeah, sample you, approval right there. That's a, that's not bad. Okay. So now it's to me. I am. Uh, I know what you thought I was gonna yeah. go. You were gonna be mad. I, I was when I heard you. I almost changed it just. Oh, to, of course to you did. Your... <laughs> yeah. Um. So I don't know. I feel like maybe I gotta grab that now. I'm a little scared, but um. You know what? I'm gonna do it. Uh, so yeah. I'll I'll follow up Tom, uh, Tommy's pick. I of course the two of these guys were engaged in a late night war as as far as their uh, ice cream was concerned. Oh no! So I'm gonna go with the one that if I am browsing the ice cream aisle at the local grocery store looking for a sweet treat, if 
this is my go-to one. And if they don't have this in the old Ben and Jerry section, I'm going someplace else. I'm going to go with uh, Stephen Colbert's Americone Dream. Oh. Gives you vanilla ice cream, oh. fudge covered waffle cone pieces, and a caramel swirl. I had that already typed in for you. Yeah, thank you. I, I appreciate <laughs> that. Great one. A great and, one. I'm just looking at a picture of it right now. And I I am not, I, I can usually... I have good self-control when it comes to desserts. Like I can portion it out pretty well and be like, I'm going to eat to here and I'm done. When it comes to the old Americone dream though, that I'm going to house that thing probably. Like yeah. it's going away fast. It's going away fast. A pint is a serving. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Like you don't probably... want it to get freezer burn when you put it no. back in. It's not like fine wine. It's not right. going to you know, get better with age. You got to eat yep. that now. Um, mm. So I'm going to go Stephen Colbert's Americone dream. And I believe that I can't remember who won the war between the two of them who sold more, but I'm a huge Colbert fan. So hmm. I'm going to, I got to stick with my boy. So Stephen Colbert's Americone dream is going to be my, going to be my fourth pick. Those and that brings solid. us back to Pat. Thank Those you. Thank you. Solid Ben and Jerry's picks. Mm -hmm. So Pat, now you get to go, you get to go back to back here to close out the draft oh. for your draft. You get interesting the end of the fourth Thank and beginning you. of the fifth. Ooh, that changes things a bit. Okay, so I've got a Ben and Jerry's on the list. I've got another Marianne's, but I'm not going to use it because I've already done one Marianne's, and we can chat about this after the draft. I'll keep it as fair as I can. So maybe <laughs> I'll do my Ben and Jerry's, and then I'll close out. I get two in a row? Mm -hmm. Yes. I'll close out with the other one. Okay. Uh, I had a Maricone Dream on my list, but it was it was down further as a, one of my just in case picks, you know, in mm -hmm. case my one's going to take it. So the one that I wanted to say is still available. So I'm going to go with it. Ben and Jerry's everything, but the, ah. and in their own words on the site here, and I'll, I'll back them up on this. <laughs> it is a collision. <laughs> it's interesting for me. It has chocolate and vanilla ice cream in it. Mm -hmm. A collision of chocolate and vanilla ice creams mixed with peanut butter cups, fudge covered toffee pieces, <laughs> white chocolatey chunks, and fudge covered almonds. And it falls, I mean, they call it everything but there, right? Like everything but the kitchen sink almost. And it almost falls in line with what Tommy said, which it could be so easy to be like, that's too busy. Every, you're going to muddy the waters. But man, it's, I think they just nailed it with whatever ratios they have going. So if I'm walking down the aisle, I generally look for an, an everything but the for Ben and Jerry's. And if they're out of everything but the, then I'll go with the Americone dream. I think it's mm -hmm. a, a, a solid pick. So that's my Ben and Jerry's. And that's now I get to close right. it out. Yep. Yep. This is your fifth and final pick. This one, I think, is just a gem. But I, <laughs> I, I kept it to last because as much as it's, it's like an undervalued stock, okay? Oh, wow, all right. Ooh. I don't, that I wasn't really concerned with anyone taking it because I don't feel it gets the credit that it deserves. It is a golden oldie back from like the ice cream parlor days, if Ooh. you will. It is called... Butter brickle. Oh, butter brickle. <laughs> I think you're making that up. <laughs> butter brickle. It's similar to Heath Bar, which, by the way, is one of the best selling, you know, just mm -hmm. vanilla ice cream with Heath Bar, one of the best selling ice creams in the world. It's similar to Heath Bar, but better. So even before the ice cream, there was a, a butter brickle candy. I'll tell you, it was made by the Fenn Brothers Ice Cream and Candy Company out of Sioux Falls, South Dakota. <laughs> first, first made appearance in 1918. Ooh. However, they are not credited with putting it in ice cream. That happened in Omaha, Nebraska at the Blackstone Hotel in 1920. They were the first <laughs> ones that put the butter brickle on the map. <laughs> and butter brickle, it's, it's made of like small, crunchy, golden brown pieces of toffee and it kind of has a soft sweet buttery taste it is to die for <laughs> wow <laughs> i think that's picking flavors from the prohibition era <laughs> <laughs> i just love the little history lesson that, we're getting here that, too. that immediately made me fan. i'm a i'm a i'm a 
big fan of history and I just learned a lot about it, wow it's gonna be butter tough brickle. To find. it's gonna be tough to find but if you happen across some go ahead pick it up pick it up <laughs> that that guaranteed that if I ever see it I will pick it up because I will try it now mm-hmm. butter brickle. you can but- you can get it at Marianne's oh they, they keep it alive <laughs> I just looked it up it is Oh. It's not a Marion specific flavor, so it's not another Marion's right. pick, but they yeah. actually do still they do start. offer it. Yep. All right. That's oh. how you know that Marion yeah. is legit. Yes. Butter brickle. They honor the past. Mm-hmm. There you go. Know where you came from, you know? Mm-hmm. Okay. So that's to me. I'm torn because <laughs> I have one that used to be my favorite as a kid, but mm-hmm. I, then I don't know if I'm really diversifying my my uh my draft here and then i got another one that's adult me would probably really enjoy you know what hell it i'm just gonna pick what i want to pick Ooh, yes yeah. i'm going i'm going with chocolate chip i'm going with plain oh. old chocolate chip i'm going with a classic flavor i got mint chip i got chocolate chip i feel like i got my two rush ends now you know this is uh i've you got like both sides of the defense yep. love the chip i love the chocolate chip i love mixing with the mint chip if i need a little vanilla with some little flakes in it i'm good and then i mix in that refreshment i'm taking cho- I, I it's a classic you it's cannot go one wrong that's tough to argue with with yeah. with chocolate chip i know i'm i know i'm not being too exotic with this that's fine but you can dress chocolate chip up just like you can dress up mint or i'm sorry uh vanilla just about as much you can make a sundae out of it you can you know you can put it in a banana split you can, uh, it's just like you just want vanilla with a little bit of you know, little chocolate in there. To me, that, again, it, most people aren't going to be upset if you present them with a couple scoops of that. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. To me, that is the one of the quintessential uh, birthday ice creams. Yes. So like you got a cake oh, and then yeah. you get some chocolate chip, a couple of scoops mm-hmm. in there just to kind of like mix it up. Or like a special, like, you know, if you're having like a, like on Thanksgiving, you all have group, Mm -hmm. everyone brings a little bit. There's almost always like a chocolate chip ice cream there. It's not darn well, better be. It's not, it's not your flashy pick, but it's it's the left guard that I'm saying. It's your pulling guard that you know is going to catch people off. Mm Going to protect my quarterback. Yep. You know, going to keep him upright, let him throw the ball downfield. Not a flashy guy, you know, just in there doing work. And I, I prefer by like, I, this is, I've never had this. And I, I think I feel like it would be an affront to all things good and decent. Is that if you had like soft serve chop, chocolate chip, that uh, does, does that exist? I hope I it doesn't. Cause I feel like it needs to, that is a solid so. flavor, like hard flavor that you, you need to make. You can't make that soft serve. So there was this yeah. place. I don't know if it was a store. I don't think it exists anymore called thrifties. Yes. And yeah, no, it does. So it's, um, the thrifties ice cream still exists. If you go to some CVS pharmacies oh. and they would say it would be cylindrical, right? Yeah, it was cylind- exactly. Yeah. Yes. Love that. We had one, but my house when I was a kid. Yeah. The, so the, the, the shopping center that my parents now live behind it, that whole neighborhood that stretches back is the neighborhood I've lived in in Salinas my entire life. And there used to be a thrifties there. Yeah. And it was like the best thing to go on a walk and you get an ice cream. They used to be like a quarter or 50 yeah, cents were, or something. Oh, wow. They're cheap. cheap. We would walk in there and get ice cream all the time. And it was like that. They had the, I can still see it. It was that cylindrical scoop. And you yep. would, oh, it's so good. It was phenomenal. And yeah. 50 cents ain't helping America's waistline. I'll tell you that much. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right. So it's uh, it's to Tommy now to close out our ice cream draft. Okay. So I want to clarify something. My birthday cake flavor, I want it from Tillamook. Just oh, a good sure. Okay. Tillamook, just a hearty, you know, Mm-hmm. brand i love it so i got my birthday cake i got my moose tracks birthday i got my raspberry cake. chocolate chip you know maybe it's that the tonight tonight dough is maybe that like five star athletic quarterback that can do a little bit of everything mm-hmm. <sighs> you know i like the dallas cowboys we're all about flash and dash oh i'm gonna i'm gonna stick there so there is a flavor and i've only had it once and it has left an imprint on me forever. Wow. Really? And, and I can't wait to get it again. This, this brand called Cool House. Cool House. It, it's a, and you know, it's, I got it. I, I got it because they were, in, I believe they're an all women owned company. And one of my friends was like, you got to try this. It was like, mm-hmm. and it is street cart churro dough. <laughs> Again with a ch- wow, <laughs> wow! It is, it is brown butter ice cream with cinnamon sugar dough 
almost like the, the dough of like a snickerdoodle mm-hmm. or a churro mm-hmm. or in for us Hispanics, bizcochos. Ooh, very nice. Uh, with a chocolate flake swirl added in. It is rich. It's creamy. It's got the, the classic cinnamon sugar flavors. Just it's weird, but tasting it makes me feel the warmth of a fresh churro. I'd like to taste. It sounds fantastic. Yes. Yeah. Where is, can you find this at any? You can get it on Instacart. I, I was right. just looking that up now. <laughs> But I could. I, I, they don't. I don't know if it's distributed every, everywhere. So you got to look it up. Cool House Street Cart Churro Dough. Okay. It is. You know, I. I just. I got to go back to my roots. You know. Mm-hmm. My, Man, we we got to get an ice cream sponsor or something. What's <laughs> happening here? <laughs> mi, mi gente, we know I, we know cinnamon and sugar very well. <laughs> I need something showing up to my door once a week. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Finish um, one millionth in the open next year. <laughs> <laughs> it's opposed to 999,999. Um, okay, so just to summarize here, mm-hmm. we'll, we'll begin with our, our good friend, Pat Sherwood. So Pat leads off with vanilla, mm-hmm. goes Oreo mint, then snickerdoodle cookie dough, boom, Ben and Jerry's everything but the, and then butter brickle. Butter brickle. <laughs> <Woo>! <laughs> then I had I had a very blue collar draft. Yeah. Like, I feel like well if Tommy if you're the Dallas Cowboys, I'm like the New York Giants. You're you, know? you have you're the 30 year tradesman steel worker you know, in yeah, Pittsburgh. Getting stuff done. <laughs> yeah, just just doing blue collar work. I got chocolate, cookies and cream, mint chip, Stephen Colbert's Americone dream, and chocolate chip. So it's like drafting the Sedin twins in the same draft. The chocolate <laughs> uh, then Tommy, w- with the third pick, uh, he gets birthday cake, moose tracks, Grater's black raspberry chocolate chip, Jimmy Fallon's tonight dough, and street cart churro dough. So we will let the fans vote mm-hmm. on that one. I feel, I feel if it's based on knowledge and stories alone, I think Pat kind of run away. Yeah. Probably going to run away with it. I didn't have any sort of historical knowledge like Pat did on the butter brickle. Yeah, that was. That, you know what? I think we're all winners today. <laughs> <laughs> I, think we, I think we should I have, celebrate. I do too. I have, we get some I've ice cream. learned of some new flavors that, regardless win, lose, or draw, I am very much looking forward to trying some new flavors. Mm-hmm. Yes, as me as well. And I'm, I'm. There is a thrifty. There's a CVS not too far from here that sells the thrifty ice cream mm-hmm. and i just want to go eat cylindrical ice cream oh my gosh they, like, it, like if they don't scoop it cylindrically i may <laughs> someone's going to be on the business end of a sternly written letter oh man <laughs> a cbs organization exactly it's, it was like you know you know how in uh, the sandlot when they mm-hmm. lose the ball and they have to go scrounge up like a quarter or whatever yeah. to, to buy a new oh, ball yeah. to fake the that's like that was like my band. I have a bunch of kids in my neighborhood that were the same age as me. Mm-hmm. We'd always be playing sports and spend all summer out. And then it was like, oh, one of us got like five bucks. Like we were going to thrifties. Absolutely. We were mm-hmm. going to thrifties. Everybody's getting an ice cream cone and a soda pop, you know? And it was, that was a good day. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, I, it was, I remember many a summer spent at the thrifty ice cream counter after we had to go run a few errands. You know, my other yep. pick that I almost did Ooh. for Mary Ann's do you guys remember the flavor called Heaven? Yes, I've that was on that I was on my list. That was on my list. Yeah, vanilla ice cream, chocolate swirl. It's got peanut butter. It's got brownies in it. It is. Mm-hmm. It's well done. So let, let me ask you guys this: We didn't go down this road because it would be anarchy. <laughs> <laughs> now that the draft is over, if you pull up into the drive-through or walk into the counter of your local Dairy Queen, oh, what are you getting in your Blizzard? Oh man. Um, I'm, I, I go with the Oreos. I, you can't, they make a mean Oreo blizzard. Mm-hmm. That's a great I'd have call. To, I'd just, have to go that. with that one. Yeah. I, I'm just like, a, I don't, I'm a, like a pretty much a one flavor guy, either that, or I might get, if they have Heath bars, I might try that as well. Yeah. Or, uh, or though there was one, um, there's one, well, it's not it's Foster's. They make what's called mm-hmm. a, a, a swirl, right? Twister. A twister. Yeah. And you, they have Oreo cookie cheesecake. Oh, oh wow! Now is Foster's ice cream or is that a custard? It's ice cream. It's ice cream. Okay. Yeah, yeah. And it, Foster's free. They're yeah. like a burger joint, like an old timey yeah. burger joint well, in California. Yeah. yeah, very similar. Well, you tell me, what are you going with a, a DQ? So I, it's it's kind of tough. So I either go with uh, Reese's peanut butter cup or mm-hmm. Snickers. I I don't know why when the Snickers gets a little cold, 
I like chewing through. It's probably a dentist <laughs> nightmare. I like like chewing through the nougat and caramel the a little nougat. bit. And uh, and if they'll let me mix something else in, I might do both, or I'll throw in a little bit of Heath Bar from time to time. I uh, my t- I know Tiffany's always going to get cookie dough, so I can bank on having some of hers. So like I'll, right. I'll swap a little, so I never have to order the cookie dough one. Although one time they had a New York cheese. Is that the one I brought for you? You remember when? You, yes, I think it was. was. It? Ah, I brought one for uh, a, a while. I'm, I think I'm going there this weekend. No, that's really. a true friend. Yeah, no, it was. He because we were talking about blizzards on the show. And yes. times like, you gotta try a twister. Yeah. Like, All right. Sh- sh- uh, Pat, I live a stone's throw away from a DQ, the one on Bay and Bay and Porter, right there near the Capitola Village. I'm like, oh around, yeah, I'm, sure. I'm a right around the corner from that right now. So it's it is a constant battle for. Oh. Man, that's like when I used to live within walking distance of of Mary Ann's. I I've been getting the same thing in my blizzard forever. I actually had a friend who worked at our local Dairy Queen when I was in high school, and so this individual would give you know I'd order a large, which is wildly inappropriate, <laughs> and it would be you know it's like they stuck a small and dumped it on top of the like it was so much yeah. ice cream, but I would always get three things in it. Ooh, I know, I know, it, it, but it works. I get Reese's peanut butter cups, Heath bar for a bit of that crunch. Mm-hmm. And then here's, here's the X factor butterfinger. Oh, oh man, that's a good one. Reese's peanut butter cup, Heath bar and butterfinger. It is it about it, butterfinger. It, it may sound a bit unusual. The butterfinger is undervalued. Do you huh. remember? I, I'm totally dating myself here, but they used to have during the summer, they would, you could get the baseball hats. Remember they would serve oh, the Sundays yeah. in the yes. baseball hats. They still do. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I think so. Dude, oh, those are the best. And, yep. Yeah. And Absolutely. I would, for whatever reason, I, I just remember always getting the Kansas City Royals. Like, what am I getting the Kansas City Royals for? <laughs> and I got excited because it was blue and I thought it was the Dodgers. And it was like, oh. They just had a surplus of them. So yeah. they shipped them out. Kansas it's City like, Royals had sent it out to like Buffalo Bills, Bills yeah. Super Bowl. Up in sure. Massachusetts, they could only give you the Red Sox one or they would have set that place on fire. <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah. <laughs> There was no Yankee one. I love those hats. Those were the best. I, if I, I do they. I hope they still do that. I, it's I a think, great tradition. I think so. I think I do it during uh, either during the All Star break. I think they'll do them. They'll do the I, the baseball hat Sundays. I I don't care how many times I go to DQ. I always forget about what they do with the blizzard now, where they turn oh, yeah. it upside I down. I love when they do that because it's just like showing off their craftsmanship. Oh my god! Here's your blizzard, sir. It, turn it, it upside down. Like it, whoa! In like the pantheon of food showmanship. Yeah, that's up there. That that's up there with like the hibachi onion, chef. The, yeah, yeah. The, the onion volcano <laughs> with the hibachi chef. Yeah. I like you know what's also good at Dairy Queen is a good Mr. Misty. I always like enjoy a good Mr. Yeah, Misty on the Sundays. Uh, yeah. Like a hot. I don't, I don't want to throw my wife under the bus, but uh, you know we'll take the kids there every now and then. She's a, a fan of just the old school dipped cone. Yeah, oh, that's what yeah. my wife loves the dip cone you know, too. That's served dipped in that hard coat chocolate. Mm-hmm. That that is that is Tomas Marquez Senior's favorite I, thing. Yeah. He loves Ooh, a dip cone. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, and that's I, guess, I think that's another thing. Like if you can't make a good dip cone. Hmm. Yep. Yeah. You yep, go back classic 100 percent oh man well that was a good one we'll let the people we'll let the people uh vote on that now i think it, i think becca voigt ran away with our last one right yeah i, I was gonna wait to, to tabulate and we'll edit we'll edit in depending on when this releases okay, when it was so, released, but yep. that was so in the in the chrono- chronology of us recording mm-hmm. this is after the becca voigt episode, yes but we also have a pending episode with easy muhammad yes yeah. Be- becca is it, it's either it's either it was close it was a little, close for I a little was while. Nowhere Sean, I got were, annihilated because <laughs> I didn't pick a CrossFit athlete. That's why <laughs> exactly. You know. uh, How'd you guys let Becca Boyd pick Simone Biles in the final round? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> money on the table. I went with the first woman to play in a male professional league. Man, I thought that would That's give me true. something. That's true. Mm-hmm. All right. Well, Pat, thank you so much for doing that. Uh, I'm sure there are a lot of people listening to this right now that are making a beeline to their local ice cream shop. So you're welcome, everybody. Uh, Vote on our Instagram page, Talking Elite Fitness. That's the only place where votes count. We appreciate comments on on YouTube and uh, on our personal accounts. That's fine. But in order for your vote to count, you got to go to our Talking Elite Fitness Instagram page and vote in the comments there. So, all right, Pat, thanks so much for doing this. Thanks so much for listening, everybody. For Tommy Marquez, I'm Sean Woodland. Take care of each other, be better, and we will talk to you next time.